Nothing was here then. Azerbaijani drones targeted villages in Gegharkunik region of Armenia again, hit schools, smashed the windows. As a result, the school walls were damaged and the cracks were formed. All of us, the children, population, have a fighting mood. Although peace has not been established yet, the consequences of Azerbaijani fire are being gradually eliminated in the border village. Since September 27, four attacking drones entered the village territory. We will repair the windows, we will start again. We will bring our learning process back to normal. Fortunately, there was no person in the building at the moment of the attack on the school. There are no victims. You see, all the windows are broken and crushed, not only ours, but everybody's. The most important is there are no victims. It will be difficult, but we will restore the damage, says the resident of Sotk village. People are trying to quickly bring the autumn harvest to the house under the shooting. They have no intention to leave the village. We gathered potatoes, dry beans, well, we stay. One of my sons goes to the field and the other is serving in the army. We are already used to voices. According to the voices, we know how to distinguish between striking and intelligence UAVs. That is, we know what to do. A school in the neighboring village of Kut was damaged by Azerbaijani strike. At around 12.30 and 2 a.m., UAVs attacked the village of Sotk, bombed, and as a result of the explosion, the windows of our school were broken. Residential buildings were also damaged as a result of the shelling. According to Alexandre Grigorian, eight shells fell on their village, two of which did not explode. They were neutralized by the sappers. They were drones on the territory during the night. They were shooting, and now, if listen carefully, we can hear the shots from afar. Families who left the village in the first days of war have returned and residents who are used to the shootings are completing agricultural preparations on the eve of winter.